Hey guys, this is the fourth part in the series of videos in which I am talking about the best practices which everyone should try to follow whenever they are programming in the C-sharp language. So if you haven't watched the previous three parts, then you can do that by going to the description of this video and clicking on the links of the previous parts. But it is not required to watch the previous parts first because these videos are not connected to each other. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's get on to the best practices which this video has to offer. The first one is remove member initialization if they are being set before they are being used. So this is a simple and obvious one to understand and follow. You don't really need to initialize a variable if it is already being assigned before being used. As given in this example, the values of these two integers is being fetched from these methods get number one and get number two. So it is really pointless to assign a default value or an initial value to these integers because this value is going to be overwritten anyways when these statements are going to be executed. So why have I listed this as a best practice? Because what I have seen is that people frequently declare variables and initialize them with either default values or some kind of initial value and then later the variables are being assigned with some other values and it becomes pointless in assigning initial values to those variables. So this is why this is kind of a best practice. It helps in cleaning up our code and also it makes our code easier to read and understand when someone is trying to find some specific piece of logic which they need to work on. The second best practice for this video is do not add protected members in sealed class. The functionality of sealed classes cannot be inherited into any other class and thus the protected access modifier which is applied to any property or method will never be of any use. For example, in this code, there are three classes. The first one is the person, second one is employee and the third one is accountant. The person is the base class, the employee is inheriting from person but it is marked or declared as a sealed class. As a result, the accountant class will not be able to inherit from it and the compiler too is throwing an error that the accountant class cannot derive from sealed class employee but there is a protected member which is employee code so if no class can derive from employee class because it has been marked as sealed there is no point in declaring this property as protected might as well declare this as private if we want to hide this property also the compiler will throw a warning which will lead to a situation which cannot really happen in the future. So these kinds of warnings are also a cue to us that we are not doing something right. But what happens is when so many developers are working on a single big project then sometimes people ignore these kinds of warnings and they just go on without noticing it. The last best practice which I will talk about for this video is never leave commented out code in our project. So if we are using a source control system, then it is really pointless to leave out commented code in the hopes of that we will need it sometime in the future. So for example, if I will go ahead and comment out this piece of code and I'm also using a version control or a source control system, then there is no point in keeping this commented out code in our project. This piece can be removed because we can anytime go to the history of the file through our source control system and check which piece of code was added or removed in the past. Also this mindset of keeping the commented code is just flawed and it just acts to confuse new developers. It is just better to delete the commented code altogether to avoid confusions when the project is long lasting and is managed by multiple developers. So that was it for this video guys, do let me know what you think about it, if you have any questions or suggestions then feel free to use the comments area. Also, if you think that this video is helpful for you, then please take a moment to place a like and also subscribe to this channel so that you will be the first to know whenever any new video will come out. I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great time.